So we're going to go through how to create um, your roster in Raz Kids. First, click your teacher icon at the top of the page and log on with your credentials. After you're logged in, you're going to want to make sure that you're in Raz Kids, not Vocabulary A to Z or Reading A to Z, and then click Roster. In Roster, you're going to click Add New Student if you want to do them one at a time, or multiple students if you want to do them several at a time. One at a time, you type in a first name and a last name, and give your child the reading level. If you're not sure of the reading level, click the standards and figure out which level in Lexile fits your classroom. And then choose that level. You can enable the book room, which is all the books, the Res Rocket, which is the incentive, and on your own, which is the iPad version, which must be checked. You might want to start with all three checked. Then you can choose a student icon. And from there, you can choose add a password. And once you add a password, the child will have to put in the lizard be, to be able to get on. Also, you can add a, a parent's email and then hit add new. That's doing one at a time. If you don't want to do one at a time, then I want you to click roster and add multiple students. When you're adding multiple students, you can simply put the first name, the last name, and the reading level in of several students at a time. With this option, though, you have to go back to add the password. Otherwise, there'd be no password for the students. So let me just add a couple students here so you can see where they come from. So let me add just a few more students here. And making sure that I have the appropriate grade levels. When I'm done with those students, I'm going to click Add New. And you could fill in up to 36 students here. Once you're done, you'll see that the, the list is populated with your new students. You can click Personalize Student Logon Cards, and it will make a PDF that shows each of your students and their icons and passwords if they have passwords. You can print this out and give the card to the students either for the lab or at home. You can also click Letter to Parents. Letter to Parents allows you to quickly create a letter for each student. And when you print them out, they print out a page for each, each student that has all the information for the parents, including how the parent can register themselves to be able to monitor their students' RAS kids usage. And if you come back here now and we log out, actually, we log out and we will be back to our classroom and you'll see that it's got new students in it, Anthony and Mark and a few others that we just added. I'm going to go back to the teacher section though because I want to show you where you can make sure that the student's last name does not show up underneath the roster. So we're going to click the Raz Kids tab and then the roster tab and scroll down to the bottom of the page there's a little checkbox there that says only display last name of student login card. That's helpful. Then we'll log out, and once again, we're back to our class, and the students can start using the RAS Kids. We hope this video was helpful in getting you started by adding your rosters to RAS Kids. Thanks, and have a good day.